Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Woo. y'all. How are it's, y'all? It's Saturday. We got Power Moves. Power Moves. With celebrities. Celebrities. Athletes. Athletes. Key influential executives. executives. Share how they make money. Money. How they attract power. Power. And how they earn yes. respect. Absolutely. Yes, Welcome. yes. And our show, uh, we just got a new sponsor, international sponsor. As a matter of fact, he's, uh, he's rooting for the Toronto Raptors. The CEO is uh, Jean Agenor, and uh, the name of his company is called Waxdale Enterprises. And their slogan is, Entrepreneurship is Our Business. What they do is they provide uh, uh, support for startup businesses to kind of get up and running and create apps and things of that nature. If you want more information, just email us at powermoves at sep-global.com. Today right. we Welcome have aboard. yes. Today we have a very special guest. This is Mr. T D. He is the the CEO of the uh, the Politics of Life podcast. Yep. Politics of Life. Sounds politics of Life. The P O L baby. Yeah, Politics of Life. It's available on iTunes and. Uh, it's good. It's it's funny. We talk about a lot of stuff. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. We, you know what? I, you know, we were talking before. I'm telling you, I think we're going to need to get, you know, your, your your podcast on on Showtime, ESPN, Netflix, something. Yeah. You know, something. got to get it popping. Cuz this this I mean, I'm telling you, this this podcast is off the chain. He is entertaining. Yeah. Um, today he's going to share with us a lot of the things that he does. Uh, just give you some insight. Mr. TD is a, a connoisseur of the finer things in life, <laughs> right? The finer <laughs> things. The finer, the finer things, things in you know. life. We we've been missing out all this time. Yes, he's we. He's going to tell us. I'm telling you, yes. Yeah, so, 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 right. so, so, so as an example, um, you know, Power Moves is all about sharing how key influential executives do what they do in their strategies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, today we're going to talk with TD on on how he helps, you know, uh, celebrities and athletes make sure that they don't get, you know, bamboozled bamboozled when they're looking to purchase certain, you know, luxury items such as, and and this is his expertise, which is cigars. So he's going to teach us a little bit about Cigar 101 today. In addition to that, um, you know, he's a big Big time sneaker fan, right? Yeah, okay, big sneaker. Okay. Big so, sneaker and guy, he yeah. always has the inside scoop. So, what the what the latest uh, greatest sneaks are coming about, and and how he, that works in terms of relationship building. Yeah. So, and just to introduce you guys, also we you know we have my partner in crime, Kevin Carr, Absolutely. the CEO of Pro to CEO. All right, appreciate that. Thank you. All Thank right, all right. Pat on the back, yes. aka Mr. Transition, or or aka Mr. Career Crossover. Absolutely, <laughs> get your handles right. The Don't career get crossover. crossover, break right. your ankles in the career space. That's right. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> appreciate that, man. Awesome, awesome. So, how was yeah. your how was your event yesterday, Kevin? With the uh, you did a speaking event in yeah, Orlando. So, um, I had the opportunity to to attend the national. Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics. So really trying to really get in front of the younger athletes who may make the transition to the pros and be able to help them understand why it's important as the leaders to set the pace for their student athlete population, particularly preparing them to go pro Mm -hmm. in the world of work. Right. Because most of them will not make it to the pros. That's right. But also for that population who is going to actually go Pro, as you know, that's my expertise, having been uh, player development vice president at NBA for so long. That's so, right. Uh, NBA shout out. Yep. <laughs> shout out to the NBA. We can get into that a little bit later. That's um, right. But no, um, fantastic uh, things going in the space of what we're doing for people and uh, looking to continue to build. So thanks for all the um, support from each of the schools. We're looking to continue to build our relationships across all the conferences, the Power Five and beyond. So, Absolutely. Way to go, Pro to CEO. We'll That's right. Grinding. Yeah. That's right, Pro to CEO. Pro to CEO, I like that. Yeah, well, well, TD, man, you know, uh, let's talk a little bit about you. You know, uh, tell us a little bit about your story and, um, you know, what, what got you into cigars? I guess what really got me into cigars is I started, I smoked my first cigar when I was probably 13 or 14. Ah, 
Wow, you wasted no time. <laughs> well, I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. And, you know, there's nothing to do in Kentucky except for basketball and and tobacco and, t- tobacco and, and uh, moonshine and uh, farming. and well farming and then uh, you know uh, fornication <laughs> relations you know relations, uh, relations with uh, you know Uh-oh. it's uh, you know all those things kind of go hand in hand yeah, you, yeah, know? Makes sense. you can be out on the farm drinking and having sex at the same time <laughs> you know well, we gotta keep the family show <laughs> exactly you know I mean right, there's not let's, really let's not go too far you know there's not there's not too much going on in Kentucky, and the and especially in the uh, late '70s, uh, you know, and '80s. Uh, you know, it wasn't a big. There's not a big cultural like Louisville is now, a metropolitan city with uh, with um, you know the Yum Center and, and so much uh, so much stuff going on now with uh, with uh, the you know the Louisville athletic program and. Everything, but um, and I like I said, I just always got I, I, you know, just always got into cigars and uh, with my grandfather, and I've always enjoyed it, and um, it's just something that that ended up being something in my life that it's weird that um, most of the very very close relationships in my life that I have of people that you know care about me and that I care about have come through cigars. Mm-hmm. I mean, cigar is so cigars and, is the power networking tip. To, I mean, yeah. to use and, cigars and wine. And cigars you know, and wine. We were talking last night, and I said, you know, if you want somebody who has a higher stature than you are that you're aspiring to, mm-hmm. you know, the easiest way to say, hey, can I get some of your time is to say, hey, can I buy you know dinner and uh, you know, or hey, can we get together for a cigar? That's right. And I'd much rather get together for a cigar than go to dinner and get banged up for, you know, wine that, uh, you know, because as I said last night, it goes zero to a thousand real quick. Real quick. With wine. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, they, they look at Petruses and Harlands and Lafitte's and Latours and anything starts with an L out there. You start, you know, you start a little heart, heart palpitations, palpitations. Heart palpitations, you know, because that check's coming and it's like, you know, man, oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and like I said, it just it, it it kind of cigars just kind of took me, and and it's weird that um, some of the experiences I've had in life and and everything and, and life and so much with everything is maintaining and managing relationships. And you and I talked about it last night. That is so important, and that people don't. Um, you know, I'm probably one of the last people that sends handwritten thank you call. Hmm, that's key. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably one of, and I get them from this little shop in Paris, and they cost me a fortune, and but you know, I'm not gonna name the name, you know, but a certain person did something, you know, for me, and um, I was in his office in New York, and um, you know, on his desk, uh, amongst everything else that was on his desk, was the thank you card. Hmm. Mm. And, you know, like I was like impressed, like I even left and I was like called my mom and I was like this person who, you know, everybody on the planet knows. Right. Has my thank you card sitting right there, sitting on the front of his desk. So so what's interesting about that is, you know, that that building of the relationship, what got you started uh, leveraging? Like, who is your if you're allowed to say the name or can you kind of walk? people because here at power moves we're, we want to kind of teach people how to elevate themselves and in, in whether it's starting a business or you know what's the proper strategy or approach when you're trying to do a business deal so how did you utilize you know your kind of your, you know your knowledge of cigars to to make an impression on somebody well first off whatever it is you have to be knowledgeable about it mm-hmm. right whatever whatever you're wanting to do in life your business, you have to be knowledgeable about it, mm-hmm. right, right? Right. And I don't claim to be, listen, I don't know a lot about wine. You know, I don't know a lot about most things. Right, right. But I know a lot about cigars. There you go. That's you right. Know, and that's, and that is, you know, and, and, and listen, plenty of people, even my, the relationships that I have now and certain people, they still try me, <laughs> you know, because, you know, they still try me. They still, you know, they're, they're looking for that one time to catch me slipping right. so they can give me, you know, hell grief. about it the rest of my life. Of yeah, course. You know, oh, they give me grief. 
Yeah, you that. know, they want to be able to give me grief about it for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. So whatever it is, the most important thing is know what you're talking about. Okay. Mm-hmm. Know what you're talking about and be confident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, don't waver. Don't, you know, well, let me look into it. Let me, you know, I can find out more about it and get back to you. You have to go in with a loaded, you know. Loaded deck. Yeah, exactly. Deck. And know what you're talking about and be confident and get your point across and don't worry about it if this person says no or passes or whatever. You have to keep going. That's right. That's well, right. Let's talk about your confidence and your ability to know uh, the cigar game. And speaking yeah. of confidence, is that a pro to CEO non medallion? Absolutely. <laughs> That's why I jumped right in. You're talking my language over here. So, one of the things we train people to transition better in and in getting into new fields that they have not been in before is to install confidence. Yeah. And the way you style, install confidence is going into something knowing more yes. and feeling more yeah. that. Even though you don't know the outcome, you are extremely knowledgeable, extremely yes. confident and competent yes. in what it is. So I really appreciate that what you know about the cigar game. So for, for those who don't know. And I know enough about most other things just to get by. <laughs> <laughs> just to get just enough get to not by. get caught That's slipping, right. you know. That's right. No, you know, and like I said, be 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 knowledgeable and be confident. But even listen, even if you get in a situation where you're kinda like iffy, mm-hmm. just put on your bravest face. Right. And go in there and BS your way through it. Yeah, That's the truth. Just go, go in there and, mm. and, and be confident because the other person, odds are, they're not going to know. They're not going to know. They're That's not going to know. You ever so, been to a party and your friend says, all right, we only got one pass. Yeah. And you go to your friend. Act like you belong here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly confident. right. That's and I've actually had that happen mentality. because I'm like, I'm taking the pass. You be confident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but cigars. For those who don't know, how do you how do you know you got a good cigar? There like, you go. That's I the mean, question. Just, that's a power like, question right there. Well, we, there you go. <laughs> we were just we were just uh, we were just talking about it, and there's so many there's so many. I've never smoked and 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 I've never smoked a non-Cuban cigar. Okay, mm-hmm. and oh. I'm, I'm, you know, I have been spoiled, but that's not to say that Padrones and Fuentes and Davidoffs aren't top-notch, top-quality cigars. I just, I spend so much time in, in in Europe and outside of America. There's really no market for non-Cuban cigars. Mm. But the key things, looking, you know, when you're looking at cigars, it's just like when you when you crack open a great bottle of wine and you have this rush of sense of 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 smell right mm-hmm. and you and you get and you're just like man i can't wait to drink that right same thing goes because you're, you're engaging your senses yes it's all not, of your senses just, right and you're going to you know as soon as you cut the cap off the cigar you want to make sure it's a smooth cut there's mm-hmm. no loose tobacco if there's a little if there's loose tobacco that means it's not good tobacco it's dry mm-hmm. it's not good tobacco it's you know it's it's suspect okay um obviously the way it burns if it burns crooked um those are you know bad signs okay and the aroma mhm you know just like wine you know if the aroma is is great and, you know, it's it's inducive. It's like every time, you know, Cohibas are, are the best, and they are the most expensive. And when you're the best, you know, you can be the most expensive. Jordans right. are, you know, the best shoes, and what are they, $220 now? I mean, Easy. when you're, Easy. you know, when you're the best, you can charge whatever you want. Or, or Yeezys. Yeah, or yep. Yeezys, you know, whatever it is, you can charge whatever you want. But, I mean, as soon as you light up a Cohiba, the aroma is the biggest thing Mm -hmm. and just the senses that I give you and I get I get a sense of relaxation and and I've had like I said you know meetings and and conversations with people that if I didn't have that ability and you know hand them a a, a great cigar that I I wouldn't have had I mean some of the most important memorable things in my life have been with with cigars and you know like I said it's it's don't whatever whenever it is you're going to you look at it if you go in and you're going to have somebody meet with someone and you want their time and you say, I want their time. Don't go whatever it is. Don't go with something cheap. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't, you know, go into a cigar shop like David off and ask them, listen, I don't want to spend a hundred dollars, but I don't want to spend $10. Right. 
get a happy medium of something that might be a little bit of a wallet buster, but if it's a wallet buster and the gentleman or woman that you're meeting with notices it and you get what that costs you. Mm-hmm. You ended up getting what you wanted, right, and taking away what you wanted from it and just it cost you a little bit more. Right. As with everything else most of the time in life. You get what you pay for. That's right. Yeah. You so so how did how did you utilize that? When was your first could you recall your very first meeting where you did that power move? Um it was probably it was it was probably with the goat. Mm. The goat? Yeah, Help us out. Probably it was probably <laughs> it was probably with Please Mike. Go. It was okay. probably. Okay. It was. Okay. It was. You know, because I, 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 I mean, you. I mean, we know who it is. Yeah. And just to let you guys know, I mean, this guy. I'm telling you, he deals with all the celebrities, and you just can't mention the names because you know it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, it's a like private said, business. I don't. But, and I don't want to. You know, I don't. That's one of the reasons yeah. why once you have a person's trust and and, yeah, and everything, and, is, I, and that's what I want to talk about next you know, too. Is you know, with you, you know, like you said, you the first time you did it was with the goat. Um, how important is trust? I'm gonna say I'll say the, the I'll say the first the first funny the a real funny story about uh, about the one of the first times I I smoked cigars with him. I showed up with these very special cigars that are very very special, and um, I didn't show up with a uh, cutter. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, oops! <laughs> and like I get there and he looks at me and he goes. You show up with these cigars and no cutter. No cutter. Really? Really, Still man? to this day, we're talking like seven years later. You got a cigar? You got a cutter? You got a cutter? You know what you're doing now? You got a cutter? So I mean to tell you, it, everywhere I go, I got one in my car. But I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you, you know, you smoke, you know, cigars, whatever times a day, and like you've got everybody around you, your security. I figured. If I'm bringing the cigars that somebody <laughs> is gonna have in, this, in this crew in the, in the group. would have right. a cutter and a lighter. <laughs> oh, wow. So we found a lighter, and he, like, bit the end off of the cigar. Oh, wow. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You're first. Like, oh, yeah. I'm like, and the thing about it is, like, and we did it. T- it was like we smoked cigars like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And bit the tip off every single one of them, <laughs> and I'm like, this is just. Well, I mean, what did you have? What did you have to drink with it then? I mean, hopefully and he has tequila. A- he's a big, you know. Oh. He's a, and I, and I'll tell you this: for certain, certain people in my life, there's things that I take with me. Right. And one of the guys that I know that this the, was the connect to him. Mm-hmm. Um, there's this tequila that he drinks. Some crazy expensive, mm-hmm. you know, tequila. I forget the name of it. Comes in this black tall bottle and everything. And um, I, uh, I looked at my, you know, my friend, and I said, "Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that bottle." Mm-hmm. And there's certain people that I've had bottles with, right? Like the Richborg, the wine. <laughs> I took that bottle, uh-huh. you know, and that, like the MJ bottle. You know, there's certain people because those are memories. Yes, and I also keep the cigar bands. Mm -hmm. And I also keep the cigar bands. And I'm like, those are, you know, memories because, you know, whatever years from now and and everything, I sit back and, you know, and I can look. There's an Ace of Spades bottle that I had with somebody Mm -hmm. in London that I, you know, and it was weird because his, his, um, Assistant came up to me and goes, you know, TD, we'll send you as much Ace of Spades as you want. And I'm like, but you don't get it. That's right. right. I just got to have this and smoke cigars with him for the past four hours. Right. You know, and so I have like bands and, you know, certain bottles on my desk that I've, you know, had with, you know, certain people and, and memories. And because and, that ultimately... When you you know it's time for all of us to go. That's what you have. That's right. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. is is memories and 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 that goes to show you the the importance of using exclusive or or being a connoisseur as a tool to build the relationships. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. You got to know yeah. your audience. You got to know what will work for you in building this yeah. now. Yeah. Years later, having this relationship that yeah. you know you started out right. Yeah, you 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 Absolutely. did your homework and knew this yeah. would hit. Obviously, you didn't have to cut her, but you survived, 
and now you have a, a, a continuing relationship. Yeah, great. great and and like so, I said, I mean, it you know, and I still and I still laugh about it. Yeah, like you yeah. know, he's you know, it's it's like you show up with no cutter. And it's like these cigars. I can't even tell you how special they were. <laughs> and it's like you know, we're all sitting there biting the tips off of them, and it's like. So, you know, so, like you got to be kidding me. All right, so we we you know, we're getting ready to go on break. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's well, when go we come back, break. when we come back from break, Kevin, you can ask him oh, yeah. uh, your next power question. I got it. But once again, this is Power Moves, power moves. with celebrities, celebrities athletes, athletes, key influential executives. executives share how they make money, money, money how they attract power, power, and how they smoke cigars. <laughs> yeah, and earn, and respect. earn respect. Hey, once again, this is In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. a star. If you want to call in, call in 813 813- Four 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 nine five eight eight. All right, we'll be right back. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Are you really ready for some super dynamite soul? Yeah, boy. You've come to the right place. In Touch Radio. In Touch Radio. In Touch Radio. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. All right, we're back. Power Moves with celebrities, athletes, key influential executives. Share how they make money, how they attract power, and how they earn respect. Respect. So, Kevin, you know, uh, what's the question you have for my man, Mr. T.D. Connoisseur? T.D., man, you know, it's it's always this thing where you see guys smoking, but now we're seeing seeing more women smoking. Yeah, I'm about that life, too. Yeah, you're about to. So so, I get to come over and go, listen, let me give you this, and let's get rid of this. By the way, let me get that phone number. I can supply okay. you with better sticks. <laughs> play a player. So, so, keep it pimping, pimping. So it's always, to some degree, um, we know that there, we know that we know that there is a opportunity for everybody yeah. to really enjoy the good life. Yeah. And particularly, we don't want to leave, leave our female audience out of this. So for those females who may have never considered it or have, you know, let's talk about why it's really important. Uh, as well for them, even if you aren't a regular, maybe even someone who's never tried it from a female perspective, why would you want to, and what should they be looking for in a good cigar? Because it can be kind of strong for a first time or something like that, but you bring us into why women uh, are smoking more and more, and at the same time, if you're brand new uh, to the game as a female, what what should they be looking for? I think... I think that's a great question. I think, yes, it is. It's a really good question because the female women uh, audience with cigars is growing. Mm -hmm. And magazines like Cigar Aficionado, um, which is probably the biggest um, in in America, are paying more attention to women, you know, cigar smokers. And, you know, cigar smoking is is a very, you know, you smoke cigars when you have time. Mm -hmm. What's the most valuable thing in the world? Time, uh, time. That's right. You know, and it's a very relaxing social thing, much like, you know, it, as I said earlier, it can go left or right, wine or cigars. <laughs> cigars. Right? Mm-hmm. And not a, you know, good wine is expensive. Yes, it is. I mean, it's, you know, it's it, it's expensive, and it gets real expensive real quick. And cigars, you can have that same enjoyment with your same friends. You know, there's little... Petite Robusto, David Offs, and Dunhills, and Fuentes, and Padrones that are very mild and, you know, 
perfect for the women, you know, audience that don't want Maduro cigars and, you know, double Coronas and, and these, you know, big ring gauge cigars and everything. It's a, it, you know, it's a perfect environment and it's a very relaxing environment, you know, sitting around talking with your, you know, your girlfriends and the same thing we do. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, Absolutely. and it's, it's such a growing, it's such a growing market because you're seeing more of the smaller sizes from, uh, Padron, Fuente, Davidoff, Dunhill, uh, you know, smaller size cigars that are, you know, aimed towards, you know, women, but also, you know, also towards men somewhat that, you know, that don't want to start off at a thousand. Right, 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 right. right. They don't want to turn green, <laughs> you know. In the middle and lose in your In the middle, lose because your women don't like that. that no, no, you know? no, 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 They don't want to sit there and be like, are you going to die? die? You know, <laughs> that's not a good look. Right. No. Um, you know, but that's, like I said, I mean, that's, that's, it's a, it's such a social, I, I can't, you know, it's important no matter what it is to just, you know, enjoy the, the time that, that you have and appreciate it, and whether it be with a glass of wine or, you know, with cigars. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's such a relaxing, you know, thing, and and to be around your, your counterparts and your peers and to enjoy it, and, and that's the biggest thing. You know, do whatever it is. You have to enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah, so, so, so what what tip would you say in terms of uh, uh, the drink to complement those type of cigars, or or should we should we uh, you know should we create a newsletter for you so you can provide that? <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously for, for the women, that yeah. is, and, 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 and for the men, exactly. I, I enjoy I, I enjoy wine, but um, you know, bourbons. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a big cognac person. I'm not mm -hmm. you know, and and I've been blessed to drink all of the you know most sought after you know cognac and limited cognac and I'm just not a mm -hmm. it just doesn't do it for me but bourbons um uh you know Kentucky bourbon yeah and you know especially <laughs> Pappy Van Week I'll tell you I'll tell you a real good story is that um you know a, a good friend of mine we were smoking cigars one night in New York and he goes you a pappy guy I said, well, you know, who who isn't a happy guy, you know? <laughs> right. And he goes, all right, well, tomorrow night I'm going to bring a, uh, I'll bring a bottle. And uh, I said, all right. So the next night we're going to smoke a cigars, and he walks in with a 23-year mm. um, bottle of, uh, bottle of pappy right and i oh. said man i said i thought you were going to bring the 20 year and he goes well honestly i didn't want to listen to you bitch and moan all night <laughs> <laughs> so i brought so i brought the 23 year because yes. i didn't want to listen to you complain all night about me not bringing the 23 20. year yeah. so that's why i left the 20 year on my desk wow. and i brought the 23 year because i didn't want to listen to you complain all night and, and you know go on and on about you know how come you didn't bring the 23 year so you know and, and he put it down he I said, I said, I looked at him and he goes, we got to drink all that? We got to drink that whole bottle? He goes, well, just slow it down. Let's see where the, light, the night takes us. You right. know, and the funny thing is he reached over and grabbed a couple cigars. And I said, well, that means we're drinking that entire bottle. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is two way traffic yes. right here. That's yes. right. That's right. So, you know, yeah, he, he, he was there. Cause I didn't know. The funny thing is he looked at me and goes, cause I didn't want to listen to you complain all night. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. so for, so for women, you would recommend, um, the certain cigars with certain types of wines. <laughs> Yeah, wines and, 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 you know, bourbons. And and if you're a cognac drinker, listen, you know, it's it's one of those three. Okay. You know, I mean, I, and, and I'm not going to listen. I will tell you that in certain settings when I'm in Europe or or somewhere and I go to Madrid, um, you know, Maria Madrid, you know, big yeah, that's season you, that's ticket you. holder. That's and, right. Yeah, you know, I go to Madrid almost every week for the commute, you know, commute from the States to Madrid every week for the matches. Um and uh, no, I will sit. Fan. Yeah. You know, he's, he's a serious fan. No, he's he's real serious. He's a real serious <laughs> fan. And um, I will sit in Plaza Mayor. Well, there are some places where I like to have a cold beer. Mm. Uh, if it's a hot so. day outside, and you sit there with a great cigar, there are some times I'm not a big like. You know, if I'm in a, you know, if I'm in a, uh, uh, like David off here in Tampa or somewhere, mm. you know, it's a, it's a bourbon or it's a. You know, it's not a, a beer. I like it when it's real hot outside. There's nothing better. Better than a cold beer. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You know, and, and the beer over there is a higher alcohol content, so I get <laughs> drunk quicker. So, you know, it's 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 nothing. You know, the, the Stella Artois over there tastes different. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And so, like I said, I like sitting in Plaza Mayor. I like sitting in, you know, in Paris and, and everything. So, uh, like I said, 
That is that is true. Our producer has a question. I got yeah, a question, uh, DJ yes, CEO sir. here. All right. TD, uh, let me ask you, wh- wh- what do you recommend for the for the first time smoker? What would you recommend that I give to them to try smoking cigars? Mm, mm, great question. Good question. That's a power, um, that's a power move question. Yeah. Way to go. Well, since we're since we're in Tampa. I want to say, you know, Fuente. I mean, you know, I, I, I haven't. And, and again, it's, it's which Fuente, and where do well, you get it? Well, <laughs> I mean, like I said, the David off. The, it's weird to say go to David off and buy a Fuente. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, as we, as you and I were talking about earlier, you know, David off cigars are expensive. Mm-hmm. And you know, it has to be a real close friend that you want to hand over a twenty, thirty, forty dollar. Stick right. for. Right. Yeah. And I think that, you know, Padron, um, any of the Anniversario Padrones um, are top notch. I don't know quite as much about about Fuente, but I know that Fuente has a great price point and a great quality cigar. Mm-hmm. The, the tobacco is quality. But I do know, because I have a lot of friends of mine um, that uh, that smoke, you know, Padrones, mm-hmm. And uh, the the night the the 1935 the 1942 the anniversario lines are not you know twenty six dollars twenty seven dollars you know which is which is good so so you know and and that's a good they're gonna appreciate it mm-hmm. they're gonna know it's good it's got a fancy band okay and it's good tobacco it's quality good tobacco so uh, a friend walks up to you and gives you what they say is a cohiba you light it and when you draw on it, it's tight. It's like having to uh, pull so hard you can't even get the smoke. What is that? Well, that's you know that's that is that doesn't determine if it's fake or not. Okay. Now, granted, you know Cohiba is the most counterfeited brand in the world. Yes, mm-hmm. without question. Without and I can't tell you how many people message me. And say, you know, is this real? And the first thing I ask him is, how much did you pay for it? There you go. Right? Mm-hmm. right, because that's a telltale sign. Because cohibas are expensive. And I had this guy in Miami, and you know, right away when somebody says, um, "I only smoke Grand Reservas, and I only smoke Cohiba Bahikes, or whatever," and you're like, "Really? Slow yeah. down, <laughs> Kelly. You know, I'm slow down, break. slow down, Kelly. Break. Yeah." And so he messaged me, and you know, sent me this picture of this Bahike. A jar that that he bought, and I said, just out of curiosity, I said, I knew right away that it was fake, <laughs> but I said, just out of curiosity, you know, how much did you pay for that? He's like four hundred dollars, and I'm like, bro, one bahike, one stick is like ninety dollars, mm. right? Ninety ninety five bucks for one stick. So, you know, yeah. if it's too good to be true, yeah, it's too good to be, be true. true. <laughs> and you know, so many of the people that I that I that are my People now that I that I help and and look out for before me, they were smoking some of the worst fakes you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> and you know, there's there's one of the guys that it's his life goal to find to catch me with a fake cigar because I you know I give him heck about it all the time. Last question: um, Should you give them a Maduro or a natural leaf, and tell them the difference between the two? Maduro is is age longer, and you have to be a seasoned smoker. I mean, I would not. Somebody, you know, and I don't mean just a year smoking. I mean, Maduros are dark, dark wrappers. They've been aged longer, and you need to be a smoker. Mm-hmm. You need to have been a seasoned cigar smoker. You know, if you've only been smoking for a year or two years, you know, it's just like wine, you know, and, and, and everything else. You have to, you know, ease your way into it, and, you know, that's the biggest thing. But what you were saying about, you know, about the, the draw – if it's plugged, it's plugged. I mean, all this stuff's hand rolled. Mm-hmm. It happens, yeah. you know. And, and a lot of times, you know, cigar shops will have a, a long pin that they'll send down the middle of it to try to loosen it up. But just because it's plugged doesn't mean it's fake. Okay. Right. And it's you know with anything totalmente a mano rolled by hand. Okay. That's awesome. it's just part of it. Well, I'm really liking yeah. what you're talking here because we we're, we're we're getting broken off here with some serious that, knowledge. I'm here. telling yeah. you, so, we, 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 aficionados, I mean, baby. So even if you aren't a smoker, you know, you really need to hear this because this is really high level here in terms of what we're giving information. So this can be shared. So um, my question to you is, um, when was that time smoking cigars that you made a power move, make 
meaning a deal went down or because you were able to bring people together, something amazing kind of came out of the experience and why this is a lot like golf, right? We say deals go down, people, you know, are spending a lot of time on the course. So now you get to create um, an opportunity between that. What's there a time yeah, where you were doing the most? The most recent one is, and and, I, and again, I'm not going. I'm going to protect the absolutely. Of course, of course. I'm going to protect of the, the relationship. situation, right. even though even though that person and I are no longer cool. Um, uh oh, that sounds like another know, show. Yeah, we're not. We're no longer. We're no longer cool. <laughs> but I, um, we were having dinner in New York, and he asked me about. Um, that he would like to bring back. He was part of a uh, music um, uh, label and would like to bring back a certain Nike. And, you know, we were smoking cigars, drinking wine. It was an absolutely wonderful night. And, um, you know, towards the end, we, uh, you know, he, we started talking about Nike and sneakers and, you know, that I'm, I'm a, you know, a, quite a, you know, big going, you know, I'm not, I'm not new to it. You know, mm -hmm. it's something that I, I can tell you the very first place I bought my first pair of Air Jordans when I was eight years old. Wow. And, okay. Um, right. you know, so we connected that way and he asked me, you know, is it possible for you to help me, um, you know, get this done with Nike? And I said, um, you know, I do not have the ability to give you a Nike deal, but I do have the ability to put you in a room with the person that can give you the Nike deal. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, eight months later, you all are, everyone's walking around. With his, Nike. his sneakers. Yeah, wow. his Nike. Oh, so awesome. That's that huge. was, you know, that that's one of the that's things. That's a power move right there. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, that that came out of dinner room cigars and, you know. And all that and time. That, yeah. And, and you know, have relationships. And, I you know, he was able to get a, a check and he was able to, um, you know, feed his family and do well and have success. And he's gone on to. Uh, have success, and I'm and I and I'm happy for him. I, I just because he and I are no longer, you know, cool or or or, or hang out or whatnot doesn't mean that I'm not happy for him. That he's you know having success, and and the, at the end of the day, that sneaker um, was the catalyst. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a gratifying you know, feeling. Yeah. In that you know that that you were able to facilitate that because you had the relationship to kind of bridge the gap. Yeah. And so that's, bridge. and that's, that's what it's all about with, in making power moves is that, you know, once you know who you are and you're confident and then, you know, you, you build a relationship and then now you can kind of pay it forward, yeah. which is what yeah. you did. You paid yeah, it absolutely. forward. And yeah. now, you know, other people are benefiting from your relationship and, yeah. and your expertise. So, you know, you, you talked about sneakers. Let's talk about, you know, so how is it that you're able to get the inside scoop on all these new latest and greatest sneakers and all that good stuff? And how did you get into that? I yeah. mean, I, I've always, I mean, listen, I mean, I, you know, I bought my, my you know, my my dad, my mom and dad bought me my first pair of Air Jordans, the ones at Philip Gall in, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, All Sports at uh, the Fayette Mall in Lexington, Kentucky, 1983 mm -hmm. or 84. So, um, you know, it's it's MJ and, and Jordans have been a, you know, a, a huge part of my life. And, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, sometimes, and there's just, you know, and, I, and I've been around uh, just about everybody from, mm -hmm. you know, every, you know, De Niro to, uh, Al Pacino and, and women actresses and entertainers and everybody else, but there's something about Mike. No, uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, just and I, you know, and and there's just something you stand there and it's like he glows. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like you're standing there in it's front space of Space Jam Christ. all over again. Yeah, it is. It's just like Jesus Christ is right there. Uh -huh. and I mean, and that's the truth. I mean, it's you're just sitting there, and no matter you know how cool he is, it's like you know that night in New York when we were smoking cigars, he came over and he hugged me and he's like, "Thank you so much for these." I mean, I about passed out. I did. I was like, did I was like, like the uh, you know, yeah, like you, you know, it's just like. You don't even know what to say, like yeah. you know, and it's just like you you're like, oh, you know, that was that was that, that was, was you know, that was and, the moment because that there's so mine. many you know he's responsible for so much joy you know in my life and that's you know I I, I do and and everything else and you know there are people that get you know special special treatment from me and and everything else because you know they bring joy into your life. That's right. right. That's what Absolutely. it's all about. You know, Absolutely. and MJ, you know, was definitely, you know, at the top of that uh, at the top of that list and you know, I have 
I have every single pair of Air Jordans ever made in every color from 1 to 23. Mm. Wow. Every so, single one. So what numbers are those? Like when you say, are you the 11, above 1,000? Oh, it's, yeah, it's well, it's well, well, well in the high thousands. High thousands. Yeah, high mm. thousands. Not even and, five uh, thousands. No, no, no. no. High it's in the high, high yeah. What is high? And, uh, is that a new word? <laughs> high yeah. thousands? Yeah. Okay. Um, I like you got to smoke, yeah. smoke a cigar yeah. with yeah. you by saying the number. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. high thousands. thousands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the Concord, you know, the Concord 11s are my are my shoe. Um, that's my, that's you a, know. Is that your all-time? Give us your yeah. top five all-time favorite The Concord shoes. 11s are my that's your number one. Yeah, uh, by you know by a wide margin, mm -hmm. and um, the Jordans Concord Eleven. Okay. Yeah, the okay. Jordan Concord Eleven. I mean, you know, if I could only have to wear one pair of shoe, All that the would time. be it. Yeah, and I have you know I have multiple pairs of that one shoe. I mean, I could probably <laughs> I probably could probably wear a new pair of Concord Elevens every day for at least two years. Oh, oh. whoa, yeah. wow! Just that, yeah, just that one shoe. Wow. I mean, that is including the highs and the lows, the low eleven, the Concord Eleven lows that came out a couple of years ago. Between those two, I could probably wear a new pair every day for two to three years. Wow! Wow! Oof. Wow! I just like, serious. like I said, it's just, and my, you know, my friends are like, you know, you're crazy, and I'm like, I just like to know that I, if I need it, and the Concord the Eleven is a very, it's you know, and Jordans to me are, it's a very, you know, it's something I did with my mother, my father. It's a very special thing for me. Um, my mother. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother went through a few years ago some health stuff, and I wore a new pair of Jordan 11 Concords every day for a year. Mm. And at the end of that day, I took them and gave them to a uh, children's uh, uh, hospital. hospital. Wow. Uh, you know, for for kid. I mean, you know, and and you know, you everything in you you, you pay everything forward. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's a sense that I take it out of the box and I put them on. And like I said, I mean, every day for a year, I wore a new pair of Concord 11s. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's your other and, top fives? Give us those quickly. Uh, the Jordan Fire Red 4s, um, the Black Cement 4s that just came out, um, those. Uh, so what is that? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the twos. The twos. And listen, I... The people at Jordan Brand, like, I blow them up every single day <laughs> about bringing back the twos yeah. and why Classic. they won't bring back the twos. Those are classics, and, man. Yeah, and they won't, for whatever reason, bring back the original twos. And, like, I have no idea. But the twos, the original twos are up there. And the um, probably the black cement threes, you know, mm -hmm. like everybody else. Well, of course. But as far as, as far as Jordans that aren't on everyone's, like, I love the nines. Hmm. I love the nines. I love Why? the tens. Um, I love the nines because, again, I was blessed. You know, I went to Birmingham to see him play baseball. You know? <laughs> okay. And I have, you know, I have his Birmingham Barons uh, Jordan 9 baseball cleats. You know, okay. 45 on the back. Um, you know, I have, you know, and like I said, I just, you know, as far as, as far as Jordan's, but after the 23s, it really... Yeah, 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 yeah. On you that know. note, here's the yeah, break. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, so, right, so, so we're going to transition off right that's now. That's right. So, Power go Moves, breaks. we're going on break where celebrities, athletes, key influencers, executives share how they make money, attract power, earn respect. In Touch Hello. Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. Call in 813-444-9588. Awesome. Hey, this is Dr. V, and you're listening to In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone's a star. Don't you move. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky, ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. 7425. Call Ricky. Ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. 
Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill, located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some and get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. All right. All right, we back, we back. So, once again, this is Power Moves and uh, Kevin Carver, Pro to CEO. Check out his website, www.pro to CEO. Mr. Transition, Mr. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Career Crossover. crossover. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> hey, so, you got a quick question I got a quick TD. question. TD, you know, sneakers are so in right now, yeah. but we still have people who are sort of, sort of on the fence whether or not they should be wearing sneakers or have a repertoire. I think you should. Yeah. Um, um, help bring our 40-ish over into the new age in terms of into why... Into the millennial game. Yeah, and, why and they the should have sneakers. Women included should have that in their repertoire, and it really can yeah. help bridge a gap and maybe make a power move for them. So break us off there. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing to me when I look at it because... You know, I looked at it, and you remember back in the day, you had to get, be good to get a snooker deal, right? Yes, Like, you had to have chips. Not yeah, like one it. championship. Mm-hmm. You had to have, like, more than one to get a sneaker deal. That's right. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. now it's like James Harden. Here's $300 million. You ain't never know one nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Adidas going to give you $300 Uh-oh. million. Dollars, you can't even get out of the playoffs. Ooh, shots fired. Like, you can't wait, even get to the wait, NBA wait, finals. This is going like, in the wrong sneaker direction. Companies, <laughs> sneakers are coming. I'm just saying, sneaker companies are handing out sneaker deals like it's water. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, but, but so the I'm just saying, so I never, is, I'm trying I never, to bring this back. Yeah, I never <laughs> thought, I never, you know, growing up, I did it because I want to be like Mike. Right. Uh, you right, know, yeah, yes. and I never in a million years thought that it would be what it is now. Right. Yes. And where it's almost like, you know, it used to be back in the day, it used to be like your watch mm. and you had to have like. Bally's, mm-hmm. right? You That's know, right. Yeah. and like, Rolex. Yeah, exactly. Alan, Ed- Alan Edmonds, right? yeah. Alan Edmonds. Yeah. You know, yeah. exactly. Like, you know, you had to have the Ferragamos. Yes. You know, whatever it is. And now, we are, and, and it's also such a, this cultural shift in in laissez faire dress. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, yes. Listen, I can go to Cipriani in New York and wear a t shirt. <laughs> this is like true. I went to like I went yeah, to Maria. Maria is one of my favorite restaurants in New York. It's a Michelin starred restaurant, right? And like my buddy shows up wearing a t shirt, like, don't worry, we're good. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's a Michelin star restaurant. Oh, and you're showing up wearing a t shirt. No you're jacket. Right. You know, Jack and is so not required anymore. because this cultural shift in, you know, you know, just just laid back, mm-hmm. no pasa nada, just you know, uh, you know that the sneaker has become the focal point, the signature, yeah, because yeah. you know it's the focal point now, and it's even because now Apple, you know, the Apple Watch is not even watches anymore because Apple has taken over right. so much of the the watch market. Yes, right. you know, and now it's now it's it starts with the sneakers. Mm-hmm. And then it goes to you got to have off white, you got to have fear of God, <laughs> you got to have you know all the Absolutely. swagged out stuff. But it starts with the sneaker, the sneaker. Wow! And invest in some fresh kicks. Mm-hmm. Okay. And okay. listen, I, I I mess with Yeezy. I like Adidas Ultra Boost. I know everybody at Nike, Jordan Brand is gonna kill me for that. Um, I mess with Kanye because at this point, also I want comfortability. Yeah, like, yeah, they are comfortable. I, you know, and, uh, and boost, are, are they? Yeah. boost technology. Listen, I'm gonna keep it 1,000. Boost technology is the most comfortable shoe in the world. Wow. wow. You heard it, it right is. here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you it know, is before, one of before the you say that, man, yo, Adidas, you need to get, you need to write Power Moves a check because yeah. you just got an endorsement. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Jordan Brand, you can write us a check too. Yeah. You know, we'll endorse that as hey, well. Nah, and, and Jordan nah. Brand, I mean, and, and, and they are, but as far as, and you know, I mean, maybe on another one, I'll tell you why Nike passed on Boost. Oh, because okay. it, Boost was offered to Nike first. Is that right? Yeah. Inside, Boost, inside Boost was the offered to Nike here. first. So anyway, Did not know that. But the most important thing is is to start with some fresh and whatever it is. If Nike, if you're only Nike, you know some Vapor Maxes or okay. mm-hmm. um, you know whatever it is, all the off white stuff. Um, you know, obviously the Fear of God stuff now. Jerry's right. killing it, and right. Fear of God's mm-hmm. the best thing, and and you know Virgil's Virgil. Um, 
And uh, but like I said, invest. You know, if Adidas is your thing, but it starts now with the kicks. Mm-hmm. Like it starts, and then it goes up from there. And it's like, and you can connect them with. You know, if you're an older person yeah. with the younger generation, exactly. about what you walk in the door with, right? I mean, how many? I mean, let's be honest with you. The Yeezys, the Yeezys now are. It's more white people, mm-hmm. older, right? Because it's comfortable. Exactly, <laughs> it's comfortable, and yeah. it's you, fresh. Yes. and it's like you know, that's that's a big thing, you okay. know. And and, okay. and and but you know, like I said, if, if you if you want to be you know swagged out. And and everything it starts with the kicks. The kicks. It it starts with and, and like I said, even Puma's killing it. Yeah, yeah, That's right. Puma yeah. They're back in the game. Em- Emory J. You know, That's I mean, right. and listen, I will back. take. Yeah, Puma is way back. That's yeah. right. And, and you know, I'll tell you, I saw did, they did a deal with Fubu too. Yeah, yeah. 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 And oh, I saw the uh, I saw Beyonce stuff with Adidas is gonna smash. I saw mm. it. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, saw I saw it? some stuff already. It's okay. it's gonna kill. So I know. And during your podcast, you talked about it's gonna have to go one or. Which one or which way is going to either go? Yeah, we won't crazy use the blazing. language that I said. This is going to go, but <laughs> or it it's going to go, go crazy, so, or it's going to it's going to be a dub, but it's going to be crazy. I mean, be crazy. Beyonce, Beyonce Beehive, Beehive, the Beehive is real, <laughs> and the you know five hundred million followers or whatever. Well, she's Beyonce got, doesn't and, do know. anything half, so we that's know right. that. That's I mean, right. it's all in so, with them. So I, I got something for you, TD. All right, but first, do I need to throw away these Under Armour tennis shoes I got on? <laughs> I mean, you know, listen, you know. Hey, uh-oh, yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, I would say so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not listening. When, when a person well, says, you know, when a person mean, says, no, you know, you know, you know, and then he looks at the pause, he actually pause. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, mean I would, I would, I would, you know, but just but, burn them. No, don't burn them. But like, if a situation like this, that's fine. But if you're going out, yeah, have some, have, and this the other thing. Have going out kicks. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. you don't need that whatever every day or yeah. you want to walk around and, and you have what you, you know, can afford and right. you feel confident in, right. you look good in that you like. But then right. you have something when you have go out. Going when out you're going sitting at David off, yeah. you don't want to be wearing that. Okay. okay. <laughs> you, you, you want to you exude confidence when you're in certain settings. Right. So when you're in certain settings... You know, you want to exude, you know, yeah, I've, I've got Yeezys yeah. and you don't. Yeah, 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 yeah I got yeah, off-whites right, right. and you don't. you don't. Yeah, I got Vapor Max and you, you don't. don't. Okay. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Swagger, swagger. I, I, I got a cigar question for you. Man, we caught off the you... topic of cigars, man. 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 This, this, this is so important. So are you okay. going to extend our, our time? I, I'm not. I, <laughs> yes, I will. Uh, <laughs> listen, how, how do you smoke a cigar? Slow. N- n- well, but I'm going for... Do you inhale it or no. don't you? No, I don't inhale it. Okay. Not you. Ever? No. no. How okay. do you advise do others to smoke a cigar? Listen, if you inhale cigars, you're a G. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah, I mean, that's... And I, one of my best friends, real tough big to cigar that. smoker, he inhales it, and I look at him, and I'm like, dude, wow. you are you crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, I, I've inhaled them in my decades of smoking cigars I have and it doesn't end well. <laughs> you know, it does not end well. I do not I do oh, not man. I get the it's more like I said cigars, you know, yes you drink wine, but it's it's the enjoyment of sitting there and just having something with your friends and that enjoyment. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 the aroma, you cigars it's a more of a sense of the of the of the smell. Right. Okay. You so, know, and so that you, aroma is is such like when you when you the reason when you I, go with the wine, it's like the reason as soon I brought as you it up. The wine. It, it, is 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 a, a, a connoisseur told me that you when you inhale a cigar, you you should inhale it through your nostril, not through your mouth, and 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 blow it back out through your nostrils. Yeah, um, that way you can you'll you'll understand what the flavor is. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm not an inhaler. I mean, I, I just you know, and 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 very. Out of out of maybe thirty of my closest friends who are cigar smokers, maybe two of them okay. will inhale, and that's just like I said. I mean, it's 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 just such a big, you know. That's a, you know, it's yeah, and it's not even a no no. If you can do it and it brings you jo- enjoyment, you know, do what Go makes you happy. It. But me, I'm not like I said. It you know, it didn't end well. You know, All right. well, you know, well. So you know, we'll bring him back, Daryl. Don't worry. You can ask as many yeah. questions as you like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yep. so we, as you were talking about the the sneakers, you know, 
I love. I gotta say, man, I love your your, your podcast, the, yep. the Life of Politics, right? No, politics of Life, politics, politics of Life. life. I do it with my uh, Politics of Life. It's available on iTunes and Spotify. I think it's the Politics of Life podcast on, uh, like I said, iTunes and uh, and uh, Spotify. And then we have our YouTube channel, Politics of the Politics of Life YouTube channel, and of course Instagram Politics of Life, Twitter Politics of Life, and you know our Facebook page. Politics of Life, and I do it with a, a good friend of mine. His name's uh, Jeremy. Uh, his uh, social media is Harlem Germ. His Instagram is Harlem Germ, and his uh, he has a sneaker page, a big sneaker page called Sneaker Rumors mm-hmm. um, that he manages. It's got like eighty, ninety thousand people, and he and I really, you know, connected, you know, about about sneakers, and um, and that's how you know the podcast. And was that's born. how it got started. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we talk about, you know, we are. We it, it has been a situation, you know, it has been so far that we've talked about, you know, sports. Sports mm-hmm. is such a huge part of my life, um, and we talk about sneakers and sports and everything else. But we are going to be segueing into more, I don't want to say important. Yes, it's important, but more serious topics. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, share, you know, with, share with us those, some yeah, of these topics so know, that our followers can can. Yeah, we can are going to be. You know, yes, it's it's great. We're still going to have you know fun and talk about sneakers and sports and you know women and you know and and all and and dating and mm-hmm. all those and all those fun things and funny things. But we are going to segue into the more important topics of what's going on in the world, uh, race, and um, you know all you know the the growing. Uh, you know, racism, race, and uh, the 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 huge gap now between either extreme wealth or nothing. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And Hells they're and not being, not. you know, they're not being this this middle class. It's either you are wealthy, mm-hmm. and believe me, there's a big difference between rich and wealthy. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. And you know, of wealth and 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 not and 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 like I said, so many of the serious you know things and and political and you know why. How there's a a, a a man in in office, you know, uh, the president, and and how that happened, and you know who his base is, and what that's done, and given, you know, to other people that share his views, um, and and just like I said, the more serious things in life, and what you know needs to be done, and and uh, the changes that because we've we've become. We've become the society where it's like no nothing cares and nothing matters. Mm-hmm. Lawlessness. Yeah, yeah like you can sit there and say you can grab them by this, and you know you're going to be elected president. Mm. And and you know and and I you and I have talked about this you know a few times, and I and I said you know when Donald Trump got on on TV and said after what happened in Charlottesville. And said there's good people and bad people on both sides. That one statement to me has done more damage in his entire presidency than any other statement. Mm -hmm. Because as I told you, I was in Homestead at a gas station. Guy comes in wearing, you know, cut off shorts, sandals, but no shirt. Mm -hmm. And had a swastika tattooed on his chest. You didn't have that. It was, Mm -hmm. yes, you had it, but they wore a shirt. Right. Right. It's a it was it's always alive and well. But that statement, you know, gave them carte blanche to say, Oh, I don't need to hide it anymore. Right. Yeah. Now and, I can and, come and, in. And you're gonna and you're gonna tackle those issues yeah, huh, on, gonna, on the I'm podcast. Tackle, you know, those those issues wow. and, 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 and and everything else and, and you know so many, you know, so many, you know, real real topics and, and things that are that are going on that, you know, that upset me and uh Really, like I said, the, that I see that it's wrong and mm-hmm. and that really, you know, really upset me. I mean, it's like – and the other thing is, is just real quick, it's like people – because I spend so much time in in Europe and I was in Paris uh, mm-hmm. last uh, – in September, October. And the new Nazi party – and I call it the new Nazi party. I don't know what they're calling it in Europe or whatever – has gotten so big in Germany that Angela Merkel has assembled a task force to fight it. mm mm-hmm. Wow. That means it's not a few hundred people. (laughs) Right. Yeah. If Angela Merkel has assembled a task force to counteract this, Mm. that's not a few hundred people. Right. And Germany is massive. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, but that doesn't get talked about. You know, and there's just, like I said, there's just so many things. And like I said, we are going to, 
you know, do the funny things, and we're all going to have our laughs and 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 everything else. But um, you know, I want to I want to talk about the much you know much more serious topics and uh, and like I said, the Politics of Life podcast. It's available on iTunes and Spotify and our YouTube channel, Politics of Life. But you know, there are going to be plenty of funny moments and. Plenty of laughing. Yeah, there's definitely and, plenty and of moments, that it, it, and it is yeah. ex- explicit. Yes, it is explicit. <laughs> I, you know, and, so and don't I you yes. cannot yeah. listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, rated like I said, R. yeah, it's, it's rated R, and sometimes it might be rated a little more than that. You know, um, but it is funny, and uh, you know, me and Harlem Germ, we have a good time. I fly up to New York to re- record it, and. Uh, we have a good time, and I get to see my guys in New York for a week and hang out, smoke cigars, and and uh, drink wine, and and we have a good time. But they, I want to move in, you know, prison, prison re- reform, uh, you know, racism. Not just like I said, it's not just you know minority and everything in America, but you know, the 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 growing in, in sentiment in in Europe mm-hmm. and um, you know, in Germany. I mean, it's you know. And like I said, there's just so many real topics to discuss and to to cover that that need to be, especially in you know today. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think uh, you know we are done for the show. Well, one last question. Oh, wow. one last yeah, question. Yeah. One right. last. There you go. All right, that's right. He he he's supposed to give us some overtime today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's supposed to give us so. so. I heard you're a soccer fan. Yeah, big soccer. Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Real. 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 Excuse me. <laughs> Let me get my <laughs> vernacular right here. So Real Madrid, what is it that you love about soccer that you can bring us into the love of Real Madrid where you go there? It's Once a, a you week? know, family. My you know, Once. my grandfather. I mean, so much, so much of everything in my life started with my with my grandfather. Real Madrid was his team. Um, mm. he was based in, uh, based in Spain and, uh, so much of it, you know, is, uh, you know, with my, with my grandfather and family and, and so it's uh, been tradition is something yeah, that you, yeah, adopted absolutely. And, and I, and I, like I said, I am, I am fanatical about it. And I, you know, it's like a friend, a friend of mine was, you know, we had a bad season this year and a friend of mine messaged me and was kind of like doing, I'm like, dude, you don't know me well enough to say that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not that close to friends, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you, you will get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 dude, like it's, you know, and it, you know, I was my, my birthday week, I was in Madrid with my mom and, it was a bad week, and like I went live on the Politics of Life Instagram, and like my friends were messing, like, we think he's gonna commit suicide. <laughs> like, are you okay? Are you okay? I mean, I was, Somebody I was, it was like, him. it was rough. But you know, that's that's the beauty about sports is that I can look back at my life and say so many things. It's like miserable, but it's also given you such great things. Oh, yes, it, yes, it has. Yes, it has. Stuff. You know, yeah. I mean, it's like that's the great thing about sports, and that's the real reality TV. Yeah, yes. you know that's what absolutely. Great about sports. It's well, the, because the emotions, the yes, you know the, the emotions. Last. I'm, you know, I sit in the Bernabeu smoking cigars, and you know, outside the Bernabeu, you buy a four pack of beer for two euros. <laughs> Me and my mom get out, and get blitzed outside the Bernabeu, <laughs> and you know, drink beer, and you know, and everything. And it's, you know, it's it's you know, the older you get, the more cognizant of time you get. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's true. This those moments true. are real, yeah. man. Those moments and are real. And I want those, like I said, you know, the, the health stuff that my mother went through, everything gets put into perspective real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And so my mom goes, you know, my mom goes with me almost every every trip, um, every trip to, you know, and, and I do the home and away games and uh, Champions League. And, and Real Madrid serious? is just, no, yeah, I mean, he's it is. It's, <laughs> it is my, I mean, I, that is, there's, you know, very few things as far as something tangible in this life that I care about other than my family. You know, obvious things, your family, your course. friends. Real Madrid is really pretty much, you know, like I said, and it and, and during the season, you know, I, I commute, you know, it's it's it is for me, it's it's worth it, yeah, and and it's totally a very emotional it. thing for me, and um, uh, you know, I'll tell you a quick story, you know, into this about Real Madrid, and we'll wrap it up. I'll tell you a real quick story. <laughs> I was uh, Real Madrid played uh, Juventus in the Champions League final a few years ago, and um, <clears throat> a friend of mine in New York who who is someone. Uh, I was flying back from Madrid, and uh, he called me, and he said, you know, let's go to dinner tomorrow night when you get in. I said, okay. And he um, he uh, said, are you going to the final in Cardiff? And I said, yeah, of course I'm going. <laughs> he goes, all right, well, I'm going with you. 
Mm. I said, all right, you know, whatever. And like I said, you know, with these guys, you just just don't know. Um, you just don't, <laughs> don't know. know. Right. The, the intentions are always pure, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. but you just never know. Right. And so, like, two weeks went by, and he called me, and he's like, yo, we're going. Mm -hmm. He was like, I got some, you know, uh, I got some, you know, surprises for you. I was like, all right, well, tell me. <laughs> he goes, no, I'm not telling you until we get there. So we land in London. And uh, we we went to dinner, and then like we drove to Cardiff at like I don't know one o'clock in the morning, doing wow. like evil Knievel on the road <laughs> to Cardiff, right? And there's this McDonald's on the side of the road, right in this barn mm -hmm. out between <laughs> London and Cardiff, right? And like he's like he's like you want some food? I'm like not really, but I'm assuming you do. And so anyways, like, yeah, let's stop at this McDonald's, right? Now, mind you, they probably haven't seen a 6'10", 6'11", black person. <laughs> and probably ever, right? And I'm walking in with him, and he goes, yeah, I'll have nine orders of tater tots. And I looked at him like, really, bro? <laughs> really? Really, bro? Nine orders of tater tots? Whatever. So anyway... <laughs> we're on we 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 gas up at McDonald's and we drive to we we're driving to Cardiff and he goes, you know, I got a surprise with you and um and uh we stayed at the Real Madrid hotel with with the team. Oh, Whoa. Wow. And he goes, you know, he goes, you know I love you and and everything and I was like, I mean cuz we were the only people there that weren't Real Madrid. Wow. Wow. Like we were the only people in that hotel. There were snipers on the building. Wow. Like we were the only people that weren't Real Madrid that were there. And when we checked in, they had put him next to Ronaldo. What? And he said, no, no, put T D next to Ronaldo, right? Okay. What? <laughs> and so anyway, like I'm like, I mean I'm like about to pass out. <laughs> like I'm like I'm like you know, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> You know, like, I, he's, like, looking at me going, you all right, bro? You all right? I'm like, no, bro. You're turning colors, man. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm turning colors and everything else, right? And so then, um, so, uh, you know, that night we go out and we have a great time. He goes, listen, you know, uh, make sure you're up at, at so-and-so a time because, you know, we're leaving to go out. i got one more surprise for you. I said, all right. And so anyway, um, we wake up and Ronaldo was walking out of the room the same time I was walking out of the room. Wow. And I looked at him and I said, we're going to win. Except I didn't say it that way. I said, <laughs> explicitly, I said, we're going to win. And, he, and I made sure he knew that we were going to win. And so anyway, I go downstairs and, uh, you know, my friend comes over to me. He goes, you ready to go? And I said, yeah. And he goes, all right, well, we riding on the team bus. With the team to wow. the and I mean to tell you, like I started crying. <laughs> like I was like, I was like, dude, I was like, listen, I'm gonna keep it one thousand with you. Ever kill someone? I'll get rid of the body. <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest with I'm you, bro. Down. Like I love you. You walk on water, and like I was like crying, and like everybody was coming over, going, you know, what's wrong with you? Right? Like you got no idea. Like I'm riding on the team bus to the Champions League final with the team. <laughs> you know. Oh man. And, and of course it. we won, mm. and, you know, but uh, he, like I said, I mean, he walks on water with me, but that's, you know, he knew, and that's the other thing is with friendship, is that he knew how much it meant to me. Right. Mm. And for him to take that time, time. And, and, to set and that, that up. That, yeah. To set that up. Yeah. It's yeah. huge. I mean, yeah. it's huge. And it yeah. and, and all comes from, you know, sharing Cigars. a stick. Cigars. <laughs> and, and like I said, a stick. It, I, I, everything, a that entire relationship, a simple that entire move. relationship is based on, one night of smoking cigars, and then he's now one of the closest people in my life and also gave me probably, I'm not going to put anything I've done above that. Mm -hmm. that's, that that's... came from a night of smoking cigars, you know, now five years later, whatever it is, six years later, you know, now that, you know, he's one of the closest people in my life. But, you know, that one night of smoking cigars and, and everything because he did try me, you know, like he wanted to know <laughs> that I knew, you know, what was going on. And, um, you know, subsequently he gave me and took the time and had one of the greatest or the greatest trip, you know, experience of my life. And awesome. I mean, how many people can say, you know, you get to ride with the team to the Champions League final. That's huge. That's huge. Yeah. Well, I tell you, awesome. you know, once yeah. again, and the, that's why we do Power Moves because Power Absolutely. Moves is where celebrities, athletes, key influential executives like my man TD yes, share sir. how they make TD. money, yeah. how money. they attract power, power, and how he's earned and respect, respect y'all. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yes. Thank once you, thank again. Thank you for having me. You're Great welcome, time. Man. Thank you. Thanks. Come back again.